Just this week, Mayor Jean Stother was asked at a press conference if Omaha police would enforce a ban if the Supreme Court overturns Roe versus Wade. You know that that that's you know that's something I I I I don't feel like I can honestly give you an accurate answer right now because I would have to I would have to think about this a little bit. Um, we just have to wait and see what happens. In a statement, Stother reiterated she's anti-abortion, and to be clear, there is no ban on abortion in Nebraska right now. This leaves many unanswered questions on how the law would be enforced if the state does ban abortion and what resources would women have when they cannot get an abortion. 3 News Now reporter John Kipper spoke to two men running for county attorney and longtime advocates to ban abortion. And he's live at a rally downtown where an anti-abortion rally is wrapping up. John. Well, unlike what it was going on, on in Memorial Park here at the federal courthouse downtown, it was a celebration, praying, people giving speeches, about three or four dozen of them very, very happy with the U.S. Supreme Court decision. Another person happy was Congressman Don Bacon, who I spoke with earlier today, who told me it was the right decision. Congressman Don Bacon applauded the decision by the U.S. Supreme Court that put the legalization of abortion to the states. Most of these decisions will probably be made at the uh, state level. He said it was unlikely a ban could happen at the federal level, with the Democratic president and a filibuster in the Senate. But he also mentioned the possibility of compromise, specifically a potential ban after 15 weeks the CNN reported House Republicans were considering. When you pull the average American, and you say outright ban, most are not in favor of that. But if you talk about some more restrictions, they are in favor of it. And I think when you talk about a 15 week ban, uh, that would have a pretty strong support publicly. In Omaha, the Archdiocese of Omaha were overjoyed. Deacon Timothy McNeil said it's a major victory. That was 50 years in the making. He said the church supports mothers who might seek abortions, especially the poor. So when and if Nebraska bans abortion, the state needs to double down on resources for food, housing, and jobs. They have to talk about how do we provide resources to mothers who, who are economic situation, family situation, who, who feel that they are alone, so they don't make this decision. If a ban occurs, it's unclear if abortion would be prosecuted in Douglas County. Democrat for County Attorney Dave Panto said he won't do it. As County Attorney for Douglas County, there will be no prosecutions of abortions either against women, uh, pregnant people, or doctors, or any kind of medical care provider in this county. I called his opponent and current county attorney Don Klein, who said he has no idea what a ban would even look like. And quote, I wouldn't comment about what I don't know. And to speculate about that stuff is unfortunate. Now, I wanted to speak with the two Nebraska U.S. Senators on video, Deb Fisher and Ben Sass, plus Congressman Don Bacon, but only Bacon agreed to a video interview with Sass and Fisher giving statements. I will continue to work to try to get Sass and Fisher on camera at some point so they can give their thoughts on this monumentous decision. Reporting in downtown Omaha, John Kipper, 3 News Now. All right, John, thank you for that report. Meanwhile, each state now has the control over its own abortion laws. In Nebraska, state lawmakers might even come back into session to work on it this summer. 3 News Now reporter Alex Whitney talked to lawmakers and the governor about that today. He's live with advocates rallying for abortion rights in Lincoln. Alex? I'm here in front of City Hall in Lincoln just weeks after a draft decision has been leaked. The Supreme Court has overturned its landmark Ro Roe v. Wade ruling, putting the fate of abortion here in Nebraska in question and all but guaranteeing a special session. I'm a lawyer, I'm a woman, I'm a mom, and like you, I'm feeling so many emotions today. We are devastated, we are outraged, but we are not giving up. <laughs> In Nebraska, abortion remains legal for the time being, but that could be changing soon as Governor Ricketts has made it clear he intends to call the legislature into a special session to address abortion. But when that session is, or what legislation he wants to see passed, is still yet to be seen. So again, we'll have to just work with the speaker with regard to what any legislation might look like and what the timing of that might be, and so we'll have to you know, still plan all that out. In the last legislative session, a trigger bill, LB-933, that would have enacted a total ban on abortion failed after it was just two votes short of overcoming a filibuster.
but it could have more success in a special session. Two new senators will have been appointed by Governor Ricketts to the unicameral in time for the special session. Kathleen Call, who replaced Senator Rich Pauls, and a yet-to-be-named senator to replace either Patty Pansing Brooks or Mike Flood. If Pansing Brooks wins, that means Ricketts will have a chance to appoint a new anti-abortion senator to Pansing Brooks seat, which could shift the tide in favor of a total ban. Tuesday is really the focus. Um, I, I know there's a threat of a special session and we'll deal with that when it's decided and we'll have to just figure out how it happens and when it does. There likely won't just be abortion bans discussed in this special session. If you find yourself with an unwanted pregnancy or uh, you know, prenatal care questions, uh, let's provide those services so that we're doing as much as we can for these soon-to-be mothers. It will still be a few weeks at the earliest before a special session is called, and Nebraskans find out exactly what the future of abortion will be in the Cornhusker state. That's right. It will still be a few weeks before that special session is called, and we find out exactly what this new abortion legislation will look like here in the Cornhusker state. For 3 News Now, I'm Alex Whitney.